Ladies and gentlemen, check out this interesting exercise. We need to find the shaded area of this figure. What we have is a square, a quarter circle, and an isosceles right triangle. Remember, here we have 90 degrees because it's the square's angle. So that means this angle and this angle are equal because it's an isosceles triangle. So each angle here is 45 degrees, 45 here and 45 here. Remember, the area of the triangle was 16. I'm going to erase this now. Let's draw a diagonal from this vertex to this vertex. Drawing the diagonal shows us that this line here is the radius of the quarter circle that connects with this line here, which is tangent to its perimeter, so we get 90 degrees here. Very good. Okay, and if this angle is 45, this angle also has to be 45, because we have 90 degrees here. Okay, so there are 90 here and 45 degrees here as well. Excellent. Now, notice this red line. Look at the triangle we had before. This red line becomes the height of this triangle here. Which we will call X. And since we have an isosceles triangle here, if this side is X, this side here is also X. Everything good so far. Right? So if we have another isosceles triangle here, if this is X, this is also X. Notice. Awesome. Now remember the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2 and the area of the triangle was 16. This has to be equal to the base. And the base would be this here, x plus x, which gives us 2x multiplied by the height, which is also x. And all this over 2. We simplify this 2 with this 2, and we're left with x times x, which is x squared, equal to 16. We'll apply the square root to both sides of the equation, but we won't use absolute values because we only need the positive part. If we simplify here the index and exponent, leaving us with x, and here we have 4. Fascinating. We've already found the value of x, which is this little bit here. Now we're going to call lowercase r the radius of the quarter circle that goes from here to here. Notice the radius matches the side of the square. So this is r, and this here is also going to be r, all this line here. And from here to here will also be r. Very good. Now we apply the powerful Pythagorean theorem. We know that the hypotenuse squared is equal to one side squared plus the other side squared. Which one is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is r plus x. So here we have r plus x squared and the sides are r. So we get r squared plus r squared and notice that x is 4. We can substitute Let's expand this binomial. The first term squared is r squared, plus double the product of the first and second, which is 8r, and plus the square of the second term, which would be 16. And this is equal to r squared plus r squared. We simplify 1r squared from the left and 1 from the right, 1 from the right and 1 from the left, and we get this expression. Let's move everything to the right side. So we have 0 on the left, and on the right side, we have r squared minus 8r minus 16. Great! We have a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic formula. Remember, we're going to have two solutions, r1, 2, which will be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Here, notice a is the term that accompanies r, which is 1. Let's write it down here. i equals 1. Very good b is the term that accompanies r, which is negative 8, and c is the independent term, which is negative 16. Excellent. Let's substitute these values here. As had is Jesus, so we have r1 contours 2 is equal to negative b, but b is negative 8. So we have it like this, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 8 squared mal, sorry, minus 4 times a, but a is 1, and times c, where c is negative 16. Excellent. And all of this over 2a, but a is 1. So we have 2 times 1, which is 2. We can remove that one, of course, because 1 multiplied by any number gives us the same number. Excellent. Let's see what we have left. 
Negative times negative gives us positive, gives us positive 8, positive 8. Then we have plus or minus, notice we have negative 8 squared, which gives us 64. Let's write it down here. Then we have 4 times 16, which also gives us 64. And negative times negative gives us positive, so here we have plus 64. Excellent, and what is 64 plus 64? Well, 2 times 64. Let's write it that way. We have plus the square root of 2 times 64. Excellent. And here we have all of this over 2. Very well. We have simplified. Now the solutions, right? So notice that our 1 comma 2 will be equal to 8 plus or minus. Taking the square root of 64, which is 8, inside the root will have 2. And all these over 2, we can factor out a common factor of 2, of course. Let's do it. We have R1 con 2, factoring out the 2. What do I have to multiply to get 8? 4. Then we have plus or minus 4 square root of 2. Alright, and all of this over 2, we did it to simplify. We simplify this with this. And find that the solution is this here. Check it out. Let's erase this here. And we find the solution is 4 plus minus 4 square root of 2. But look. Since 4 poyen also in constant assists. See for a square root of 2 is bigger than 4. If we use the minus, it will be a negative number, so the minus doesn't work. The solution for this radius, or for this exercise, is that the radius has to be 4 plus 4 square root of 2. Excellent! Now having the radius, you know it's very easy to find the shaded area. The shaded area equals a quarter circle. Remember, it's a quarter circle. So we have pi times radius squared over 4. The radius is this here. We can write it down exactly as it is. Let's do it. So we have 4 plus 4, square root of 2. And all of this squared, great. Let's expand this square binomial. We find the shaded area is p quarters, great. And let's develop it. We have 4 squared, which is 16. First term squared plus twice the product of the first by the second. 2 times 4 gives me 8, n times 4 gives us 32. 32 square root of 2, very good. n plus the second term squared, 4 squared is 16, n square root of 2 squared is also 2. 2 times 16 gives us 32, excellent. So, here we have 6 in n32, 10 plus 30 gives me 40, and 6 plus 2 gives us 8, the sum gives us 48. So here we have 48. We can factor out 4 from here. Of course, let's do it. The shaded area is 4. Let's first notate this here. P quarters multiplied by 4 factoring out here. 4 times 12 gives us this. 48 plus 4 times 8 gives us this 32 here. So we've factored out here, simplified from here and there. And we've got, ladies and gentlemen, that the shaded area is equal to pi times 12 plus 8 square root of 2. All of these squared units, fascinating. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Like it and comment so you won't miss future challenges. See you next time. Bye-bye.